What is going on, you beautiful human beings? Welcome to the Risen Fallen Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hendrickson, and uh, welcome to the show. Happy Monday. I hope your weekend went well, and I am glad to be kicking off another week with you guys as well. So um, let's get into it. So uh, if you're brand new to this podcast, what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health, self-development, and everything along those lines. If you're a returning listener, if you're a returning viewer, whether you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform or you're watching this on YouTube, um, Thank you very much for coming back and the continued support. I appreciate you guys so much. And whether you're brand new to this or you're a returning listener, you are the reason that I do what I do. I try and uh, do my very best to to share my stories and share my authentic thoughts in uh, hopes that it helps you go through whatever it is that you're going through right now and come out on the other side uh, with a, a big win or at least... Uh, if you're not coming out with a giant win, then um, coming out with some new insights, some new thoughts, some new ways to reflect on the situations that you have going on in your life. So that's the show. Um, welcome to it. And uh, today, you know, it's, you know, probably, I don't know, halfway through February right now, right? So it's, it's, we're halfway through February. And a lot of people like to talk, you know, a month and a half ago, you were hearing a lot about New Year's resolutions and how you're going to set your year up for, uh, you know, some goals that you want to achieve, some things that you want to maybe repeat in your life, some things that you maybe don't want to repeat in your life, some new beginnings that you wanted to start. And so we're halfway through February now. We're about, uh, I don't know, I guess that makes us like 45 days into the year, roughly speaking, I think. Um not a mathematician, but uh, that's my best guess. So we're probably about like 45 days into this year. And so a lot of people, like I said, we're talking to a lot about um, setting goals, setting New Year's resolutions, um, you know, th- setting yourself up for success and, th- and dreaming big and thinking big. And, you know, I do talk a lot about goal setting and, and getting yourself set up for success. But another thing that I talk about is reflection. And so this episode, I just wanted to do a little check-in. This one, I actually promise, will be a short one. I know I always say it's going to be a short one, and then I ramble on for half an hour. So this one's going to be a short one. I'm going to try and keep it under 10 minutes. But um, I wanted to just prompt you to reflect back on the past 45 days. You know, think about how you started the year of 2023. Think about your first 45 days, roughly speaking, into 2023 you know we're halfway through february now think about how your month of february is going think about how your month of january went uh sit down and just write about some of the habits that you had we talk a lot about on this podcast you know that the fact that you are your habits you are your repeated daily action everything that you are is cumulative of what you do on a daily basis and so reflect back. This is my this is my prompt for you to reflect back. Maybe if you have if you keep a journal to to write down the things you did on a daily basis. Write down the things that you did. You know, hopefully you've already done this and you've done this reflection. You do a daily journal, but you know, look back at the last 45 days, how you started 2023 and think about if you were to repeat that for the remaining 320 days of the year, that's my quick maths. Um, if you were to repeat, you know, the month of January and how you've started the month of February, how would the rest of the year look? And how would you look one year from now? You know, were you slipping on your nutrition? Were you slipping on your exercise? Were you slipping financially? Were you slipping in your relationship? And if these things were to compound, if every single action that you took in January and February were to compound for the rest of the year, How would your life look in a year from now? Some of you, that's going to be very, very good. And some of you, you're going to be very, very upset with how that looks. And so moving forward, you still have, you know, 320 days left of this year or roughly speaking. Again, that's just my best estimate. If you're listening to this the day that it drops, you have about 320 days left. And so I want you to reflect back on the way that you started this year, how you spent January and February, and think very, very deeply about if you were to repeat every single action that you took, how your life would look in one year from now. 
And if you were to make no deviation, if you were to literally just repeat the last 45 days, how would your life look in three years from now? How would your life look in five years from now? How would your life look in 10 years from now? You know? And then think about would you be proud of that? You know, there's a lot of things that I did in the last month or so that, you know, I I would be very proud of. But there's a lot of things as well where I'm like, if that were to compound, if that were to build... Uh, you know, five times that, that result of that habit, 10 times the result of that habit, you know, if I were to look into the future, it would create a future that I'm not very proud of. And so there's going to be mixed kind of results there. There's going to be a ton of things that you're very proud of. And there's going to be a ton of things that quite honestly, you'd be pretty embarrassed about looking back. And so I'm encouraging you right now to look back on how you've started 2023 how did January go? How did the beginning of February go? And would you want to repeat that? Would you would you appreciate the results of those habits repeating? And if you would, then continue to go for it. But if you wouldn't, think about how you can make minor changes to it. You know, I'm not telling you to change your life in a day or a week or a month, but I'm telling you to make a 1% change on your daily habits and the way that you execute the way that you perform every single day, whether that be in regards to your nutrition, whether that be in regards to your exercise, whether that be in in regards to your career, whether that be in regards to your relationship uh, with your family, with your loved one, with your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or even the relationship that you have with yourself. You know, are you reading enough? Are you journaling enough? Or are you fucking off and watching Netflix and you're eating junk food, and you're sitting on your fucking couch right now as you listen to this, thinking, fuck, I really do need to change some of my shit. And understand as well that that's completely normal. Like there, like I said, there's a lot of things that I've done in the last 45 days that I'm proud of, but there's a lot of things as well that I you know, wish I could dial back the clock and change. But unfortunately, we don't have that opportunity. All we can do is change moving forward. And you can make that decision to change today. You can get up off your ass right now and take care of any business that needs to be taken care of. And if you feel like, you know, I, I want to move forward, but I don't know which direction to go, the best choice, in my personal opinion, is follow the path of most resistance. You know, follow the thing that you really don't want to do the most, whether that's a workout, whether that's, you know, eating a healthy meal instead of fucking ordering some fucking skip the dishes and having your favorite fucking comfort food. Maybe it's putting down the bottle. Maybe you're halfway through a beer right now and you're like, fuck this. And you just fucking dump the rest down the drain, throw it in the fucking garbage and grab a water bottle. Grab some fucking amino acids. Grab a protein shake. Take the path of most resistance. Do the thing that you don't want to fucking do right now. And start moving from there. Because if you continue to do the things that are going in the path of least resistance, chances are you're going to continue to live the exact same way that you live right now. You might fucking change your habit for a day, two days, three days, a week, whatever. But chances are the reason that you are where you are in life right now is because you've been taking the path of least resistance far too often. And so reflect back, like I said, on the last 45 days of your life, the way that you started January, the way that you started February, and think about how you would look in a year from now if you were to make no changes at all. And be honest with yourself. And uh, if there's things you're not proud of, write those things down and think about how you can make small changes to those behaviors. Um, I'm going to leave you guys off with a little quote here. You know, um, Again, this is from some Stoic philosophy. I'm a big fan of Seneca. And the quote goes like this. As fire tests gold, so misfortune tests brave men. And this isn't kind of uh, specific to men. This can be specific to women as well. This can, this can relate to anybody's life. Um, we don't get tested during the good times in our lives. We don't get tested uh, when things are going well. It's when things are going rough that we truly get tested. So everyone can stick to their plan um, when things are going great, you know, when things are moving smoothly, when things are going well, 
it's easy to stay dedicated. It's easy to stay quote unquote disciplined. It's easy to stay motivated when you get you, when you're catching wins and you have no resistance. But chances are you live a life pretty similar to mine and things get fucked up and sometimes things happen where uh, it eats up more time than you thought. Some things take more energy than you thought. Some things take more money than you thought. Some things take more of your patience than you thought. And you and you start getting thrown every excuse in the book. Oh, I can do that tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. I'll just give it 80% today. Oh, it's okay. I'll do it, but I'll be texting the whole time. I'll be thinking about something else. I'll be, you know, my mind will be elsewhere. And it's very easy for us to throw all of these excuses at ourselves and, and start to compromise on our behaviors, our habits, until 45 days passes, the new year started, and we're like, what were my fucking resolutions again? So I understand there's probably been some challenges in your life. There's probably been some fucking curveballs thrown your way. And maybe you're not started on your goals or your resolutions uh, as, as much as you wanted to. But that's the thing about kind of goals or resolutions or whatever fucking words you want to use for them is we're going to get thrown off track. It's completely normal. I'm just giving you this opportunity right now as we start this week. It's Monday morning um, or if you're watching the video, it's Monday evening. I'm giving you this opportunity to reflect back on how you've spent the last month and a half and think about would I want this to continue? Do I want this to continue and make the appropriate changes from there? So that's all I got. Just wanted to fucking check in with you guys, give you the opportunity to check in with yourself. And uh, as usual, we do have the Risen Fallen Mental Health Group. So if you are brand new to this, then basically what that looks like is we uh, we have meetups every single week. We, uh, we like to meet up and we like to go for walks. We like to go for hikes. We like to go for coffee. We like to do tons of stuff where we just connect and uh, have a little bit more of a community built. Um, for a lot of people, it's very... Um, you know, difficult to kind of make new friends or, or make new connections or especially have those deep connections where you can actually talk about things that happen in your life. And so, um, you know, if we don't meet up in person, we have a Zoom call once a week. We do like to either have a Zoom call or an in-person meetup every single week so we stay connected. We also have a daily group chat as well on Telegram. So if that sounds like a community that you, you'd like to get involved in, whether you're in the Vancouver area and you can make it for the in-person meetups, or you just want to jump on the Zoom calls, or you just want to join the group chat, reach out to me on Instagram and I'll throw you in the group. I'll make sure that you get connected to everybody as well. So uh, that way, if you need a little fucking ear to uh, spout your shit off into and and have a little bit of support there, you got it. And if you want to be a leader and you want to help lift other people up as well, this group is still, uh, it's it's still a a good opportunity for you to do so. So join the Risen Fallen group. If you want to support the group and and help fund the in-person meetups, you can cop some of the merch. It's at risenfallen.com. We have hoodies, we have tees. You can go and check that out. I implore you to check it out because the uh, hoodies are super fucking comfortable and cozy during these winter months. But that's all I got for today. I hope you're doing well. And if you're not, reach out. Much love and peace out, you beautiful fucking human beings. I love you all.